Alright guys, welcome back to Oracle of Ages, where we will continue on with our quest. We finished the second dungeon, the wing dungeon, and got our rocks feather, so now let's uh, head on down to Crescent Island, because that's where they told us to go. Well, before we go there, let me head down this way. Because I think there are some things I can get from up here. And a visit from Maple as well. Well, ain't that great. Let me move these rocks out of the way so we can have it clean. Wait, ooh, a potion. I want it. Hey, dang gum, she knocked me out. She'll take for the Gasha seed first, but I want that potion. That is going to be useful for me. The Gasha seed would have been nice, but uh, I don't need that right now. Instead, right here between these rocks... It is a soft soil spot for us to plant the Gasha seed. And through this cave is a way to a heart piece, which Misa want. Misa want heart piece. Misa got. Sweet. Push pot out of the way so we can get out. Awesome. And jump across. Sweet. Alright. Still didn't get a heart piece from Maple yet. That's kind of hard to get. But let's see what I get inside this tree. A ring. Yay. Well, I kind of need the rings. And, uh, can't do much of the trading quest now. And actually, it needs to be done on Crescent Island. So we will be going there. Actually, we have to do some things first. Okay, so. And we go. Into here. And we meet this guy, Rafton. He wants to make rafts. Ironic. And uh, he only needs rope that won't decay in water. I have to go find a guy named Shevel who has this kind of rope. Well, let's go and meet him. All right. So uh, let's keep it going. Wow, I'm actually quite amazed about one thing. I probably won't mention it now until probably the uh, end of the video because I don't want to jinx myself. And this is Shovel. He's researching before he dies. He wants to make swim flippers for swimming and rope that won't decay in water. But. He doesn't have the stuff right now. Oh, hi, Ralph. What do you want? He wants shovel rope. A grave in our own time. Which means... We must head to the present. Fair enough. I think I can handle that. So we have to go... Back to the future... To go get some rope. Apparently this, well, yeah, it's not right to say that kind of stuff. But anyway, there is, uh, oh man. I was about to say there was no disorienting sound for a while, but it just happened right there. I jinxed myself. I guess it's because I have so many programs on. Well, while we're near the ring place, let's uh, get some rings appraised. Okay, dude, I want you to appraise these rings. What do we got? You got the peace ring. No explosion if holding a bomb. Nice to have, but kind of a useless thing at the moment. Next, we got the cursed ring. You do half damage and you take double damage. Worthy for those who want a challenge. And this one is the octo ring. Become an octorok, which does extremely nothing. Other than what it says. You can't use any item you have. So uh, it's largely a useless piece of junk. But anyway, in order to head to Shovel's Grave, we have to head to the Yaw Graveyard. Because Yaw, I think we reckon we have to go over there. Y'all reckon? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon. <laughs> 
Anyway, enough embarrassing myself with that. Uh oh. Seems like there's some blue flying bear surrounded by ghosts. Please. I ain't afraid of no ghost. And huzzah. And we just go talk to our blue friend here. Why would I eat you? Yeah, I got rid of him for you. Anyway, this is Moosha the Bear. He can fly around. And if you hold the charge button long enough, he'll do a ground pound. And keep tapping the button, he'll fly for a little while. But he doesn't fly over water, so he's sort of hydrophobic, if I do believe that's what it's called. And we need him to get over these holes. He's one of three animal friends in the game. And we'll encounter the uh, rest a little later. Anyway, we need to head inside the grave because everyone knows Link loves to go inside people's graves. History shows. So, <laughs> why not go? Anyway, just <laughs> calmly jump over the water. And there are the flippers. To get them, we need the rocks feather and the power bracelet because we got to pull on the switch. That'll move the blocks out of the way. Get there before they crush you. And hasa, we got the Zora flippers. We can now go in shallow water. Just like this. I'm swimming in seawater. Press the B button to take a little short dive. And we find shovel rope. This stuff will not rot when wet. This is exactly what Rafton needs. So now, it's time we go back to the past and you dang on buzz blobs get off me. And put that away. Jump over. And... Moosh is glad he can help and then he calmly flies away. You can't see him again because I will mention about something with the our animal friends later on. So now, it's time we go back to the past. Link to the past. So many references I'm making in this part. Okay. I also have a little uh, speed button on my remotes. Because whenever I practice, I did not want to watch these um, warping things, because I was in a hurry. I'm trying to refrain from pushing that. Oh, but anyway, now that we have the rope, let's go to rafting. I'm thinking I might have to split this whole quest part into two parts, because, well, this is sort of a long quest before we head to the third dungeon. I normally thought I was going to do quest, dungeon, quest, dungeon. But this quest is arguably one of the longest. Because I think now there's two things to do before getting into a dungeon. There you go, Rafton. There's some rope for your rafts. There you go. Now he'll let me be the ride, but I need to go find a chart. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll go find a chart. Oh, what do you want now, Ralph? I needed some sort of island chart. It's a weird guy that has seed charts. Too busy trying to save Nehru. Yeah, we know what you're trying to do. Ironically, that guy is in the present, so we have to go back to the future again. Oi! Didn't think that through, did you? Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's another soft soil spot here. I don't know who to blame for that, Nintendo or Capcom, since they were sort of involved in this game. Which... Arguably is the only other company I think that has ever gotten involved with the Zelda game. Are they? Is Capcom the only company to ever get involved in Zelda? I don't think anybody else has ever gotten involved. Curious. Hmm. It's just sort of a wonder, really. 
Okay, well... Um, now I'm gonna need this money. I thought about going to buy that ring, but not yet. No, what I need a power bracelet. Back to the present. I have a tendency to hit my speed button right now. But I do not want to do that. Because I don't know if it'll mess up the frame rate and everything else. Yeah, the sound's not disorienting very much as it used to. I guess it was because I have so many programs running. I have two internet browsers running with a lot of things. Huh, sounds probably a good thing. Okay, let's check on Bippet and Blossom. Looks a little strange. I'm gonna take him to a doctor. We have no rupees. Could you please lend us some? This also affects how how uh, the kid's ability will be. I'm gonna be nice and give him 50. I think Baby Wayne will be all right. <laughs> oh boy! I would have to choose my friend's name for that. <sighs> I am such a kidder. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, yeah, we needed to be in the present. I was about to go back in the past, but wait a minute. And here's another animal friend for us. Ricky the kangaroo. He's lost his precious gloves. Find him on the beach. Okay, we'll go find you. We'll go find your gloves. Every kangaroo needs to have his gloves, and oh man, there's the guy right there. The one guy that annoys Link, that just because he wants to be friends. Uh. He got Ricky's gloves that were just hidden underneath that dirt. Okay, I just wanted to get that on my screen. I'm not going to try and fill up my entire map screen, which is right here. Don't worry, you can show off this map. There's no scrolling, so it's not gonna affect the emulator at all. Anyway, let's uh, give Ricky his gloves. Oh, help me find. Hey, to punch or to build power to unleash a tornado. He also jumps small holes and clips. He's arguably, yeah, he's, you know, he can jump off a cliff like this. He's the second animal friend, and the last one we won't see until after Dungeon 3. He can jump over holes, too, which is nice. He's arguably one of my favorite. He's arguably my favorite of the animal friends. So, might be picking him. Okay, Tingle. Oh, my goodness. We know who you are. You're a 35-year-old man that wants to find fairies. Just give me a frickin' chart, and yeah, I'll be your friend. Hey. Got the island chart. Kalolipa! Who gives a care? Not me. I just did. Me, you and me both, Ricky. You and me both. I can't stand him either. Oh, well. Anyway. I just don't want this. <laughs> Let the pop his balloon one last time. <laughs> he annoys the hell out of me. Why the hell out of everybody, unless there's Tingle fans out there. Good for y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, back to the past. There's nothing much we can do in the present now. Okay, I will show off what the portal looks like when you're not standing on it. It looks like that. If y'all can see it, I don't know how much y'all can see. And, uh, this will be probably the last time we, uh, warp in, uh, for now, for a bit. It's not the last time we use the tune, but uh, let's just keep going. Hey, now back to Rafton. I don't know why I attempted to say it like that, but oh well. Let's head to Rafton and get a free ride. 
free ride on a fancy raft. Oh, so nice. What took me so long? I've been gone for only five seconds. If that really is the case. Anyway, here's our raft we can ride on. Let's ride it along as far as we can just to fill up some of the map area. Look at that leads up there. There's another section that we won't get to till way late into the game. Oh, hey. Well, watch out for these uh, whirlpools. Don't want to get sucked into them. And there's a pirate ship in there. Can't do anything about them yet. Anyway. Moving on. On our nice raft. There's a raft in place. So now we're back on track. So uh, let's keep going. I'm running into that ship so many times. I don't want to run into it. Hey, okay, nowhere to go down there. I'm just trying to fill up some of the map area as best I can. Okay, so there's Crescent Island. And how are we going to get on there? There's so many rocks and reefs in the way. Oh well. Let's head on up and to the idle and the no no. Oh god, there's a storm! What the hell? Fight it! Swim! Swim! Swim for your life! Oh, that hit us! Uh, hey, wait a minute. Hey! Hey! What did the old. Gave my stuff back! Why you? Ugh. We are gonna deal with those in the next part. Oracle of Ages to be continued.